we have this super cool little tool that you can use to actually put in your ear and it has a camera on it and a light you can see what's going on inside your ear. This is super cool if you get ear infections or if you feel itchy in your ear or you feel like you have buildup. You can go inside, check out what's happening. It has like a little scoop on the end where you can kind of actually scoop it out. My daughter was using this tonight and then she started freaking out because she said she actually saw what she described as a clear, tannish, ant-looking thing in her ear, and she saw antennas and eyes. Obviously, this is a great reminder that parasites manifest all over our body, not just in our gut. They can be in our ears, they can be in our sinuses, they can be in our eyes. A variety of things that you can use to deal with the ear parasites, um, and it was most likely an ear mite, um, but I went and grabbed my pair of three, and I just put a drop or two in each ear, and kind of just like let it sit there for a little bit. Then I added in some drops of colloidal silver as well. This stuff is pretty awesome too because you can use this in your eyes. So anytime my kids come home and their eyes are red or itchy, I put a drop or two of this in their eyes and it immediately clears right up. This can be helpful if you feel like you might have eye parasites or some kind of viral or bacterial infection going on in your eye. The pair of three is awesome for anything in the sinus cavity if you have congestion or allergies, you're gonna to wanna to add a couple of drops with some distilled water and do a nasal rinse, like if you have a neti pot or something like that. You wanna do it two to three times a day and it will just help expedite the parasite cleanse process and you might be surprised what you're actually able to blow out of your nose. And I know that sounds super horrifying and jarring, but you know what I tell my clients, better out than in. <laughs> Tips that have worked for me and my family, but this is not medical advice. And like always, I recommend that you work with a practitioner. I'll drop the link below for the pair of three in case anybody wants to have some of this on hand.